Hey guys, welcome to the Roadrunner Motel in the big town of Shures, Nevada. This is Native American country. They have uh, Indian settlement here. And as you can see, The office is all but closed up here. I'm going to go around the back side here. Looks like maybe the tenants or the, the owners used to have a little fenced in area maybe for a dog and I think those abandoned mobiles over there are another piece of property but uh, anyways let's go around the front and take a peek. This place was actually open for business and it wasn't so long ago. It was definitely within uh, the big recession here, because I drove by it and it was definitely open. Kind of hard to see in there. I apologize. Looks like everything's been more or less ransacked. Some old dated, uh, dated furnishings. Kind of surprised the TV is still here. I guess those don't have a tremendous amount of value anymore. And uh, small bathroom, just typical roadside uh, motel. Like I said, this was in operation within 10 years ago. And. Uh, I don't see any reason to go through every room here being as we would technically be trespassing somebody does actually own this uh, own this property I would imagine and as you can see the windows luckily for them are uh, got boards over them and actually you know I think this place would be somewhat salvageable. It's not in too bad shape. The, the uh, rain has not gotten to the, the sheetrock and must still have a decent roof on it. There's another room here. Smaller TV and I see I hear a uh, I hear a smoke alarm beeping. Yeah, I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but uh, there's a room here that's still closed. Looks like, uh, I guess this must have been a maintenance room here, maybe, even though it says room 9. Looks like about 16 units, something like this. Now, these are interesting because these rooms are really gutted down to the uh, the studs and the exposed trusses up top not sure what the thinking was these on this side are uh, look like they tried to do some securing of the rooms yeah they're uh, they're bolted shut from the inside. Can't see much. We'll go around to this, uh, what used to be, from what I remember, next door here, we'll make our way over there, was some kind of a, uh, I think it was a diner. Gas station and some kind of a diner, so we'll get two bonus uh, stops here buildings in one the sign up top unfortunately it's right in the Sun does say bar and it was certainly some sort of a, a gas station
Well, as you can see, a few furnishings here and those red, uh, those red booths, kind of garish looking, look to be uh, out of a bar. Now here's an interesting sign here. I can remember seeing this sign, if we can get to it. This is a for sale sign from the Roadrunner Motel and it claims eight acres including motel, cafe, and I imagine bar for $150,000 which it's a lot of land out here, eight acres $150,000. Now this part of it here was obviously I guess the restaurant and here's a small bar and uh, this is the restaurant area here. We'll take a quick look back in the kitchen area. Everything's been pretty much removed here, except some simple furnishings. I see uh, there is a back room. Like I said, surprisingly in good shape. Even has uh, even has restaurant equipment still there. This is just a back a back area here, and I don't know how much of that power is still there. Maybe an electrician can tell me. And I apologize, it's getting a little dark in here. This must be uh, yeah, it's just a restroom with a uh, hallway with restrooms. So we're going out a different back door here where we came in but uh, it's a shame something like this it could have been saved now interesting little factoid here as we walk back towards the uh, motel that is a recent roof on that motel that is not a dated 30-year roof getting ready to blow apart but anyways Somebody tried to do some revamping here and uh, obviously ran out of money or failed or you never know when somebody passes on. But uh, that's the Roadrunner Motel, guys. If you've been here, know anything about it, certainly let us know in the comments. And uh, somebody's looking for a project, eight acres, looked like it was $150,000 at some point. So next stop is the Burned Casino on Montgomery Pass. Thanks for tuning in, guys.